Hi rock fans, hi music lovers, uh, hi everyone, and today it's time to rank the songs from another Pink Floyd album, More, which is their third album. Uh, not one of my favorites, but for a huge fan like me, I think it, it's a decent album. And as usually, I want you to rank the songs with me. So what we have here on this album is 13 songs, and I'm gonna rank those 13 songs from my least favorite to my favorite. So here we go, at number 13 is Party uh, Sequence, and it's just a short instrumental, you know, with uh, some percussion, I think it, they, it plays Tam Tam or something like that, you know, <laughs> percussion and flute, and it's my least favorite the party sequence at number 13. Uh, number 12, it's a, it sounds like a jam session. <laughs> You know, between uh, Rick Wright and Nick Mason, and it's up the keyboard, up the keyboard. Yeah. Number eleven, another instrumental track. A lot of instrumental tracks on that album, and it's a Spanish piece. Uh, I like the the Spanish guitar; it's cool. And I like uh, there's some kind of humor <laughs> in that little track. Okay, next set number 10 is More Blues, uh, it's just a cool blues song, uh, not a great, not a bad song, uh, just a normal instrumental song, More Blues. At number 10, number 9, another instrumental, and it's Quicksilver, and there are parts of that track that I really enjoy, and other parts uh, uh, that sound a little bit boring to me but uh, it's not the worst but it's not a great track but uh, it's number nine on my list quicksilver okay next number eight and i think i'm gonna take a lot of people by surprise here <laughs> uh, this time it's not an instrumental but it's a song with lyrics and it's green is the color and I really like the lyrics. The lyrics are pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, the music is nice, but uh, I don't know. It's never been one of my favorites. Uh, but it's a decent song. So Green is the Color at number 8. Uh, number 7 is another instrumental. Mean Pin Pin. Yeah. Uh, I like, I really like the vibe, you know, of the song. Uh, number six is another instrumental, and I'm talking about dramatic ping, dramatic ping, always hard to pronounce <laughs> those kinds of words for me. And I love, you know, the delay effect or the digital delay effect on the guitar, and it's number six on my list. Number five is the crying song, and I always love the melody. Uh, this is not an all-time favorite song, but I really like it, you know, the melody. We smile and smile. Da -da 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 Good song. So the crying song at number five. Number four, Cymbeline, uh, I really like the chorus, you know, and it's high time, Cymbeline, and all the work here by Rick Wright uh, on the keyboards, so Cymbeline at number five, uh, sorry, number four, Cymbeline. Okay, number three. Uh, I think this song is a popular choice for number one or number two, but it's number three on my list. But I love the song, and I'm talking about the Nile song. Uh, great melody, great uh, catchy, heavy song. I was standing by the Nile when I saw the lady smile. Yeah, and this is something very heavy. And it's number three on my list, the Nile song. Number two is the other heavy rock song called Hibiza Bar. And the part I love best, you know, it goes like this. 
So build me a time when a character rhymes and the storyline is kind. And also really like, you know, the back vocals in the background. <laughs> and it's number two on my list. Hip is a bar. And finally, number one for me is Cirrus uh, Minor. A great acoustic track. Uh, really like, I love the lyrics. And once again, all the work here uh, by Rick Wright, you know, the last half of the song, the last uh, part of the song, you know, with all those psychedelic sounds. And it's my number one choice, uh, Cirrus Minor, number one. So I hope you enjoyed. So don't forget to leave your comments. Uh, what is your personal list, your personal ranking, or the songs you love best. Thanks for watching and see you for my next video.